Hello lovelies. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, The Beauty Misty. Alright, today, uh, like I promised you guys, I want to prepare my children's lotion. So I decided to, okay, share my recipe and how I prepare this beautiful lotion with you guys. Alright, so this lotion I'm going to be preparing today, I have you have different ways of preparing children's lotion. But this lotion I want to prepare with you guys today is very very great very very great probably you have not have, have not have been seen before I don't, i've seen recipes on baby screen but i've not seen this very recipe it's special to me <laughs> now you remember you're going to make some research you're going to check out some things when you want to when you're learning on when you're or learning on skincare okay you have to learn you study your research you check products you check all that you can do you know to achieve a beautiful result at the end of the day so what i want to prepare today is baby lotion now this baby lotion i am using a very sweet oh actually I say ignored um ignored products or ingredients <laughs> for this recipe so the recipe i'm using today is coconut milk coconut milk is what i want to use to prepare my children's uh, lotion okay now before i go further anyway i'll show you guys all that i will use for this product now coconut milk coconut milk is super rich it is very very good uh, uh you know coconut milk is very very good for the skin for the body for our health and but today we will be talking about coconut milk on the you know on its uh, benefits onto the skin so coconut milk is packed with vitamin c e uh, b1 b3 b5 and b6 okay it also have iron selenium sodium calcium magnesium and phosphorus okay for phosphorus okay so coconut milk it is so so super nice because it is an anti it has antibacterial antiviral and antifungal properties in it coconut milk remember you can also make your own coconut milk by yourself and i'm going to be showing you guys another way and another thing i want to use coconut milk but i will make that one by myself but this very one i wanted to use the one in the container to prepare this very cream okay but you can use the one you made by yourself to also prepare this very beautiful cream all right now the benefit of coconut milk on the skin okay it helps to moisturize the skin it reduces dryness itching redness and it also promotes skin glowing it promotes the skin to glow coconut milk is uh, uh, it's very rich in exfoliants it exfoliates the skin you can use coconut milk and add a little bit of uh, oatmeal powder and use it to you know mix it together and use it to scrub your face and you get a very amazing youthful glowing result on your face coconut milk is also good I'll be showing you guys another way I use coconut milk to, you know, to back bait my children. You know, that one is another research I just found out. And I'm going to show you guys how I use that one too. When I don't want to bait them, you remember we are in a country where it's very always very cold. So when I don't want to bait them, I pr produce that one. But I'll show you guys how you can do that, okay? Coconut milk also controls sunburn. It helps to heal sunburn. It, pre it prevents acne due to its uh, antibacterial Pro, uh, properties okay it prevents premature aging it treats uh, skin problems and also it removes you can use coconut milk to remove uh, um, um, your makeup you can remove it you can use it to remove, remove your makeup and and oh my god if you add coconut milk and your coconut oil together and they use it to remove your milk it's not it don't, it's not it's not only going to remove uh, the you know the, the makeup but it's also going to give you this this softness this glow this moisturizing feelings on your skin all right another product we're going to be using is palm oil palm oil is going, what, what we're going to be using palm oil is also very rich in antioxidant okay it has vitamin a and it's very it's also very high in concentration of vitamin e also protects the skin and also improves uh, overall health you know, so you can use this one to cook you can use to fry your food and all that you know use it to cook it's, uh, uh, palm oil all right so another product we're going to be using is hemp oil this product i am making today you know we are in winter and winter is dry period here 
and the children's skin has to be has to stay moisturized and hydrated so this very product is going to be filled with oils rich oils okay so i'm going to um i want to show you tell you guys the major uh, major ingredients i want to use so that is why i'm explaining all these ones that i want to use hemp oil also it's also very good it's fat it's the best moisturizer for acne prone skin if you have acne this is a very great moisturizer for acne prone skin okay it is also it also helps to moisturize the skin very very well because it has a natural oil that protects our skin okay so it's it also cleanses the skin and helps pro, uh, uh, helps prevent rashes and provides us relief from uh, acne so this is very very nice it's very rich in moisturizer the best moisturizing and uh, one of the best moisturizing oils so i'm going to be using it to, uh, for my child uh, for my children lotion okay so another product i'm going to be using sorry another product i'm going to be using is my rose hip oil uh, this is rose hip oil we'll call it a rosin butter only okay so rose hip oil helps to reduce scars and fine lines it helps to reduce scars and fine lines it's also very rich in um, essential fatty acid and antioxidants which are integral for uh, tissues and cell, uh, cell regeneration in the uh, in the skin okay so it's good for uh, scars my child um during the summer she was bitten by a lot of uh, uh, mosquitoes and all that so she have uh, she was she, she scrapped so much and i've been adding this onto her cream to uh, to help you know clear off those uh, uh, scars on the on her skin okay this rose hip also helps to uh, lighten up uh, the skin can be used to you can be used to tone up your uh, the, the skin of your baby okay you can mix this also into a root um coconut oil water and massage it onto your skin and then it will banish it will banish also the under eye uh, circles all right this one is very 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 good so can you some people can now ask me can i use this uh, root hip oil on the baby yes even the trilogy trilogy organic uh, certified organic or something of that nature if you google it you can also see he said that rose oil may be used by the whole family that is very safe to use during, during and after pregnancy to assist skin elasticity and also reduce the appearance of stretch marks so you can use this also to to clear your stretch mark with continuous use of rose hip oil and it's very it's very safe to use on babies to keep skin nourished and healthy and to protect your baby skin from dryness so it is satisfied that you can use rosy oil onto your baby skin now i also have other products like my uh, almond oil i also have products like my mustard oil i have products like my papaya oil uh, uh, sorry we're also going to be using our uh, mango butter we're also going to be using our shea butter okay and then we're also going to be using our cocoa butter. Sorry, guys. We're also going to be using our cocoa butter, okay, on this very recipe, okay? So, let us begin our beautiful journey on this very product. There's another thing I want to use, but I'm going to show you guys as I come up. So what I'm going to do is this. I am going to, first of all, melt this oil, these butters. Go and melt it, then I'll bring the part. The, another thing I want to use, just a, a berries extract. Berries extract, I'm going to be adding it, number one, to give it a beautiful color. And berries, the berries extract contains very powerful uh, color. So I'm going to get it as soon as I, I come back. So uh, I'll be right back. So in here I have my, this is my cocoa butter, cocoa butter, and this is my shea butter, and this one is my mango or butter. All right. So I'm going to also dissolve this uh, palm kernel and I'll pour them all in so that I will start my mixture. So I'll be right back. So guys, we are back. This is our oil. Now I'm going to put on my hand hansh, kune gloves my mixture we we'll have to work sterile you know these are <laughs> children's lotion we don't want to be careless however you don't want to be careless when making any of your producing your uh, uh, products so this is it i have melted this um the the cocoa butter shea butter and the mango butter i showed you guys so now I have also melted this uh, pan kernel oil. 
I'm going to pour in, measure in some of it. So I'm going to measure in um, about one third cup of. Uh, oh, we shouldn't make it up to one third. It's okay like this. Okay. All right, we can still make it one third. It doesn't matter because we want it to be. It's not only for my children, anyways. I'm making for another person. So we have added one third of our uh, of our palm oil. Now the next thing I want to add, like I told you guys, is my berries. This is berry powders, okay? So these berry powders, I am going to add. Some of it and then I will mix it this is not only for the color I want it to, to look beautiful but not only for the color they also contain great berries that is also very nice for the skin so I'm going to add one to spoon, uh, one tablespoon uh, two tablespoons of berries and then I'm going to mix them together mix it make sure it dissolves properly mix it and make sure it dissolves very well okay they have it's how these very berries have a lot of berries that are very good great for the skin it has um, Bill berries it I, I don't know the I don't know how to translate it in English joking okay, but it has bilberry blackberry black uh, mulberry it has strawberries it has koji it has red currant elderberry uh, camu camu cranberry pomegranate pomegranate is also great and feel this is pomegranate is also a uh, uh, vitamin rich rich in vitamin c also it also have a uh, black currant which are all rich in vitamins these products okay this um uh, berries i also drink this i also used to make my smoothies in the morning okay so i can decide to blend it so that i can smoothen this berry So pardon me guys, you know I have a very small place. So I want to blend it so I can make it a little more smooth. Alright. I'm really making a mess. But that is it. Okay. That is it right now. Mm -hmm. I've made a mess. I'm cleaning it up. And of course, in this mixture, we cannot forget our vitamin E serum. Uh, vitamin E, I'm going to add three, four, five, six drops of vitamin E. I'm going to stir it. it so this berries is optional okay you can skip it if you don't have it you don't need to add it so now it's time to go ahead and uh, mix my uh, my cream um what I want to do is that I want to open my coconut oil coconut uh, milk so I don't know what happened today <laughs> this thing refused to open very very well so this is the milk okay so there that was the last one i i used the other time that it had some chunks so i thought i was i, I needed to blend it but this one i don't have to blend it it's already smooth so the next in we're going to pour in our mm, oil and our berries in this grid remember you can skip these berries i wanted i need i just want to add these berries because of 
it's great benefits so i felt yeah it would be nice for the skin and for the children's skin also so why not so we're going to mix and mix and mix this mixture so the next thing we're going to do is to add all other oils they are in we're going to be adding our papaya oil papaya oil also rich in carotene vitamin C one tablespoon of our papaya oil Another ingredient we want to add is our mustard seed oil. Now, this mustard seed oil is very, very great. Also, a uh, very great oil. Also, this also will help to lighten up the skin of my children, and it also will help to fade away the uh, the dark spots they have. Uh, the other my other child have on her skin. Okay, it's also help to going to help to soften their skin and make it you know you know keep being soft. <laughs> baby skin should keep being soft right the next ingredient is going to be our best moisturizer oil which is the hemp seed oil one tablespoon of oh, I'm, I'm gonna do one and a half tablespoon of this product uh, this very baby children's cream is oil rich cream it's full of oils okay the next ingredient is going to be our almond oil which is also very great moisturizer one tablespoon of almond oil so just imagine you prepare this kind of cream for your bit for your babies you know and see how their body their skin will be the next is going to be our rosy oil which i've already shown, told you guys the benefit of it you see they all have their own colors you know <laughs> You know, you see the, how beautiful it is? They all have their own colors. Oh my God, I feel like snapping this. And another thing I want to add, another ingredient I want to add is all, um, uh, um, honey. So you all know the benefit of honey, also great in moisturizing. Honey is also good for children's skin. Very, very good for children's skin. So we don't want to miss honey now i think that is enough of the oils and the ingredients i want to add for this mixture and then we're going to be stirring it and stirring it and keep stirring it now after i have stirred this whole ingredient i'm going to put them in put it in the fridge and let it cool for a little moment before i come and blend it or mix it with my uh my blender now you remember i said that you can skip the powder that i added this is just you know what i want to add to see that how this also going to come come out because i know the powder contains uh, a lot of uh, other great uh, ingredients so we are going to pump this and then leave it in the fridge to freeze a little bit then we'll come back and show you guys how it looks like all right so this is our wonderful oil lotion for the children it's gonna be a while you don't want to miss this all right see you guys later thank you <laughs> so guys we have finished our production but I'm sorry I didn't know that when I clicked on record I didn't click on the record when I started recording the last step, a part of the video and uh, it was late when I recovered it was already late I've already finished everything so I'm sorry but the uh, the cream you're gonna enjoy it do subscribe if you have not subscribed and thank you for watching again.